I am Pooja and I am going to be talking about the iPod mini second generation. Hi, I am Shatija and I am going to be talking about the OG iPods today. Hi, I am Varun. I will be talking about the iPod Nano. Hi guys, this is Ashma and today I am going to be talking about the best iPod to ever exist. iPod Touch. Alright then, let's start this video with the oldest gold of iPods, the iPod mini second generation. That's right, I am talking about this thick body musical maverick which was launched in 2005 and look how bulky it is you you feel as if you can fit all the world's music into this thick ipod but its storage is only 4 gb and you no know, let's just compare it okay this one is still thicker but look at the latest one wow huge difference but um Back in the days, having a 4GB iPod was also quite something and you could fit up to a thousand songs in it. I know most of you must be saying what is a thousand songs, but it was still a big deal to be able to carry around a thousand song. This was kind of an upgrade from a Walkman that I had and if I had to carry around a thousand songs, it means that I would have had to haul around what about a hundred cassettes and that's not convenient at all. Um, so I love this iPod, I am totally tripping over the fact that it still works and here's a fun fact for you, this cute little iPod was available in a bunch of snazzy colors like pink, green, gold and this very beautiful blue. Oh, another fun fact, this iPod came with its own little clip, yeah, this cute little thing. So you edit it like this. And then that's it. Just clip it onto your handbag, to your jeans pocket, to your trouser, to your skirt, and you're good to go. Enjoy hands free music. So that's all from me. Just looking at this iPod is sending me on a trip down memory lanes. I loved this iPod. I still love this iPod. And I think I'm just going to go back and enjoy myself a bit of nostalgia. See you later and do tell us what memories you have associated with your iPods. So let's get into the actual best iPod to ever exist, the OG full size iPod. I've got the 5th and 7th generation on sale for us to see and these were also the main ones I was using throughout my childhood. The 5th generation iPod was the first iPod to support video which is why it was often dubbed the iPod video. I don't have any on me here but on full battery it gave you about an hour of video playback which I guess was okay. I mostly used it for music and even though this was the base 30 GB version, I don't think I ever maxed out the storage capacity on this. This one also has games on it, which is pretty damn cool, I think. Um, so if you see here, we've got the break game, which is pretty difficult now that I'm not used to a click wheel anymore. Oh. Anyway, we've got music quiz where you basically have to guess the music that's there in your iPod. And we got parachute, solitaire and all of those classics. This one works pretty well, which is cool. I still get about four or five hours of use out of it. The only sad part is that Apple Music doesn't work on these old, older iPods as um, this doesn't have internet services. However, you can import all your CD music and download music here. And even the stuff you buy on iTunes as it's not DRM protected. I also have the very last iPod Classic with me, which is usually called the 7th generation model. Although it was officially a revision of the 6th gen iPod Classic. And the biggest difference between the two is that this one's 160 GB. And also that the interface of the two were pretty different. The 7th gen had this split screen UI that showed you the album art and such of whichever media that you were playing, which personally I didn't like all that much. I put a screenshot here comparing the two for your reference. Anyway, these were the OG iPods. Did you own any of these or have a story to share? The comment section is your stage. 
So this is the fourth generation Nano. It was launched in 2008. Now I personally feel that Nano is the best combination that came in Nano in all its generation put together. Now the reason being it has the two most iconic things that are defines an iPod, which is the click wheel, which I think all the latest ones, the touch, I know it has a lot of features, but without click wheel it's not an iPod. And then the size. Now this is an extremely small size. It's actually just 37 grams. And uh, this was the perfect uh, uh, iPod to be put in your pocket. Now, even in Nano, this was the best model I feel along with the fifth generation. Because the first and second generation were just like the initial graphs, they had a lot of bugs. With third generation, they tried changing the design, they made it smaller, which took away the complete appeal of it. Sixth generation was again smaller, which didn't do well. And seventh generation was basically like a precursor to the iPod Touch. It had the home button, it looked like an iPod Touch. So this iconic nano design was only in 4th and 5th generation and this, this was the best combination that I felt. Uh, this has 8GB of space which is according to me plenty because it can hold up to 2000 songs. You really don't need more than that. 2-inch uh, screen, again I'm never looking to play videos on an iPod so a 2-inch screen works perfectly fine for me. Um, another thing that it introduced was, which is which we have associated with iPhones now, is the shake to shuffle feature. I'll show you how it worked. So if you're playing a song and you just shake it, then the song changes. Now we do it for undo text, we do it for corrections in iPhone, but it was actually introduced in the iPod Nano. Nano came for seven generations, so this was discontinued about 2011-12. And uh, it's still the best iPod. This one, I can see it's connected to the wire. The reason being it's got a bad battery right now. And unfortunately, the one problem with fourth and fifth generation Nanos were the batteries didn't last very long and they were not easily replaceable. So many people that I've spoken to, they say basically these were like use and throw nanos. So I don't want to throw it, I'm just keeping it, keeping it connected and charging it like this. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about the nano is, when I took it out of the drawer to, for this video, the first thing that it reminded me was the new remote that has come for the latest generation Apple TV. Now I know completely different devices, completely different purpose but just could not help notice the similarities. It's the same color pattern, even like it's kind of like the, the touch wheel on this is kind of a reminder of the click wheel, similar backs. So I know even, even when I let go of the Nano, there's something that will remind me of that. Okay, so now coming to the iPod, that could literally do anything an iPhone could do, aside from making a phone call. This is the iPod Touch 6th generation and I am not just saying all good things about it because of how pretty it looks but it actually was a very big upgrade to the iPod as a gadget itself. I mean this is legit the only iPod that has access to Apple Music and that says a lot. I remember clicking pictures with this when I was listening to my favorite music. And surprisingly, it has an amazing camera that still works. Also, the fact that this is the only iPod that has a speaker in it made it so desirable back in the days that all of my friends have actually tried stealing it from me. But it was so difficult to track that who has it because it's legit weighs next to nothing. I'm just very sorry for those who did not witness the transition of these iPods though. So that was it for now and guys since you are here, you already know the drill. So subscribe, like and share this video and wait till you see what's coming next.